this morning Jesse and I walked into the castle and on our way we saw a church so we decided to stop up here check it out and show you what we see So Julie and I just came up here and I don't really think it's like necessarily a church as much as maybe this is connected to the cemetery. But it's still pretty. So before I've talked to people about uh, churches and comparing them to casinos in Las Vegas. Now, I know what you're first thinking is, Jesse, whoa, be careful there. But there's a lot of similarities to having churches in Europe as to like when you go to Las Vegas and you want to see all the casinos. Typically what I have to say to most people coming to travel anywhere for the first time is don't try to see every single church because at some point they're going to be similar to all the same. Just like if you've ever gone to Vegas and you wanted to see all the casinos. Uh, once you start seeing multiple casinos, you start picking out the differences, but generally they're all the same. But I'll talk more about that later. So let's take this church for example. You see that it has crosses at the top, has some bells, has the front and the door. Typical church, right? So next. So welcome to another inside of another church. As you see, stained glass windows, cathedral, open space. No matter what church you go into, they're going to start all to look the same. Now, that's a blanket statement. But however, if you're going to visit cathedrals, I always suggest learn about the cathedral, learn about what it has to offer for us pictures, artifacts, facts about the church, and go visit that one church and then cross them off the list and move on to the next thing. So here we have another church. And as you saw, you have the bell and the cross on the top, you have the small window, and you have the door. I keep saying it again, churches are all gonna be the same. So let's take a look inside and see if it's any different. I did find a difference in this church. Here's the secret. This one's locked. Somebody came and opened the door for us and here we are in St. John's Cathedral. It's very nice. Another church, come on. Vaulted ceiling. Preacher up there, the pews. Now again, I understand these aren't the big cathedrals as they are in like wherever else, but this is on a small scale and it goes to show that they're all gonna start looking the same. So like I've said it before, if you wanna visit a cathedral like Notre Dame or the Chatra in Paris or in France, learn about the cathedral Learn about the stained glass windows. Go see that cathedral and cross it off the list. So I'll take you guys inside here. Here you can see the church. Once again, they all slightly look a little bit the same. This one has the choir behind us. Let's see. Yeah, about there. There's actually about three churches in this castle. We'll show you one of the most recent ones that was renovated. It's actually small and pretty actually. Took some pictures there. So when it comes to cathedrals 
And when it comes to casinos, I said there's similarities. Well, casinos have slot machines, crap tables, and all of those type of things in it. And each one is slightly rearranged differently. Well, when it comes to churches, the same thing. They all have the same makeup, slightly rearranged differently. But one thing I used to joke about between the casinos and the churches is like the casinos have the buffets, right? That's what pulls you in. Well, with cities, they always have to have a cathedral with a castle, and then it gets tons and tons of people. So there are similarities. I kind of joke about it, but I think you get the idea.